Good morning, audience. Good morning, Alex. So, Alex, how long have you been in possession of your Sil X7 CNC mill? Uh, around, I don't know, four days? Okay, and what you're doing? Yep, coolant leak. I haven't even made a chip yet, and a coolant tank is already leaking. So I filled it up Friday evening, it's now Sunday afternoon, and I came in with this huge splash of water, unfortunately. So I put the coolant tank uh, on a dry patch, and it seems that around here there is a little leak on the corner, so focus. Yeah, you couldn't see a drip, so I'm gonna try if I can put a lot of glue on there, see if that does something. But it's really annoying if you buy such an expensive machine and the coolant tank isn't even waterproof. We'll see what happens. The tank is now sealed, if we're okay. Uh, and we're gonna put a bit of oil in it, let it stand for a day, see if it's good now, and then hopefully we can fill it up again, bring the coolant up to level. I mean, using Blaser Synergy 735, and hopefully it will be all okay, and we can actually start running some more parts. Let, uh, let that stand for a day. Make sure it's all dry under the tank and then do a 24 hour test. I came back today and the floor is still dry. So we welded up the coolant tank successfully. Still waterproof. We're now filling it up again with some uh, DIY uh, hacking solutions, but it works. Uh, gonna check the coolant level, install the pump back and then see uh, if we can get it running. Here's your first filter, and then you have one here, and they have one here. And then they still have a filter at the bottom, so I think that's really uh, good, for, good of them, because then you have a lot of filtering before the chips actually reach your coolant pump. I fill it up, uh, put some blazer in it, mix it up. Here's a quick overview of the coolant system actually. So there we have the nozzles and all the coolant that spring runs into uh, on that side and then it goes into this big black bucket which is kind of a ramp so everything goes like that. And especially here on the side you can see all the coolant coming out. It's quite a nice volume. Um, and everything comes out, it goes around the bend and then drops here on this chip tray. So this is the four, first four filters and I think it's a really elegant system. So especially now that it's waterproof, I really hope that I have a lot of uh, <coughs> enjoyment from this uh, coolant tank. It will last a very long time. So I'm really happy everything's working again. Um, the factory did a really good job of helping me out on this. They sent me uh, all the information I needed, uh, and also they wanted to send a, a tube of glue that you could use to uh, fix the leakage. Uh, we went for welding because welds can't be attacked by coolant uh, because plastics and glues can. But uh, really had it work out. Uh, it wasn't the best start of the sale, but hopefully uh, everything is uh, a bit smoother from now on. 
really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, and I'll see you again on the